<laughs> uh, Port Vale obviously owe a lot to their top scorer. In fact, the top scorer across all the English leagues this season, Tom Pope. But Port Vale aren't the only team that Pope hopes to lead to success this season, as Johnny Phillips explains. The key is going to be you, Per, today. You've seen how windy it is. We need you, Per, to get hold of the ball. You're both up there, you're both big lads. We need you to get hold of the ball so we can get up the pitch. When you lose games of football, you find more about your players than when you're winning games. Really. This is the Sneed FC. They look just like any other Sunday pub team, but they're not, because at the helm are two professional footballers. Adam Yates and Tom Pope have helped Port Vale to the verge of promotion. Last Sunday, they had their eyes on a different prize, helping the Sneed to victory over Six Towns United in the Sentinel Sunday Cup semi-final. They want free boots every week, that's what they want <laughs> off us, no? You know, so they, they take things on board um, and, they, and you know, they, they do love it, they love learning. You know, if they turn up and they've had a drink, you know, in a professional game, you know, you'll be fined and, and, and perhaps, you know, suspended, but with these, you've got to take it. Fullback Yates set up Pope for his 33rd goal of the season the previous day. The 27-year-old striker was rejected by Vale as a youngster and it was while playing Sunday League that he got his break at Crewe. He thanks his dad for that. On a Sunday morning, he was the one that told people like Neil Baker at Crew that I'd got ability and I'd still got a chance of being a professional. So, you know, he's been the biggest influence on my career by far. Um, obviously, my mum for driving me everywhere because he doesn't drive. How no, proud are you? How proud oh, are you? I'm over the moon. I don't always tell him, I try and keep his feet on the ground, but. I've seen both sides where it doesn't always work out and, you know, it's, there's two sides to it. If it isn't always going well and you have to sit there and people don't know who you are sometimes and you can hear some of the comments and what have you, it's, it's not all, it's great widescreen like this, but it can soon turn. So I'll keep him aware of that. Bob gave up running the Sneed last summer and the management duo have been a big hit since taking over. Although when we turned up, one player in particular needed a bit of encouragement. Maggot, open up! Push in, Maggot! You should be out there now, Maggot! Maggot! Don't spend the game worrying about him. Maggot! Maggot! Don't play so narrow, play wide! He looks like he's 12 years old, but he's got a little bit of pace and, and he can he can cause problems when he's on his day if, if he hasn't had a drink. He plays golf every day and then goes to the pub and sits in there rotting. I think he's got his own stool in the pub, to be honest. Nobody dares sit on it. Pope is a down-to-earth throwback to old times too. A window fitter in his former trade, he doesn't do flashy. I just like on a Saturday night if we haven't got a midweek game, just going up the pub with my mates and having a game of cards. You know, that's me chilling. You know, you see footballers out with bottles of champagne out till six in the morning and, you know, if that's what they want to spend their money on, then great. But, you know, nothing more I like than it. Time, time, a game of cards time, and time, watching time, me boxing time, on a Saturday time. night. Maggot, if you're coming too deep, you can't get in behind there. Well, he hadn't put a foot wrong, really, has he? 33. 33 goals, I think, he's on now, so can't really complain. Finishing football doesn't really bother me, you know. You see footballers that have had all the career in football and finish and don't know what to do with themselves. You know, I, I'd happily go into a nine to five job when I finish football. Most of these players will be at Vale Park today hoping for another celebration for a club that only came out of administration this season. Every time that something good good was coming out of the club when we were in administration, you know, we'd have another kick, kick Smudge in the team. Uh, I think it got to the point where we as players and managers, you know, stuck together, ground out results, you know, we, we, we sort of became more of a family. A penalty put the Sneed in front with 10 minutes to go and look who popped up with a vital interception in the last minute. Brilliant, Maggot! Maggot, superb! He's ran his nuts off. Quite literally, by the looks of it, Promotion will be a formality for Vale as long as they show just half the commitment of Maggot. Great win, Harris. Uh, Maggot, of course, is a term of affection, just as the boys have a term of affection for me. It's called Worm. Uh, yeah. They mean it nicely, don't you? <laughs> I know you do. Uh, nothing like Sunday football. I'll be at Winchester under 13 blacks against QK 